Okay, so I'm going to show you something with LastPass. Here's the LastPass icon. It's gray, so I click it and it asks me to log in. And um, and when it is, if it were red, it would actually not ask me this extra step. Okay, so I'm going to log in now with a username that I've made up for this, uh, with the username and password that I've made up for this demonstration. Or an email that I made for this demonstration. So it's possible that your LastPass will remember your email, but I'm just going to type mine in, geoburstshop at gmail.com, and, uh, and I'll type in my password, which you should have written elsewhere because LastPass won't help you remember this one. Um, I put remember email so that uh, I don't have to do this, but I, I leave unselected remember password because, uh, well, for security reasons. Um, so anyway, I'll click login. And uh, notice that the little button has gone red now. Before it was gray, now it is red. And the red, the red means that I'm that I'm logged in. So the next time that I click on this, this little window comes up, just like before, but now the window actually offers me uh, things to do with my account. And I can start typing in directly uh, without clicking in the search bar. I just uh, I just press the red button and I start typing. And I've typed in uh, words related to the password I'm looking for. This is uh, my Apple ID password, uh, a fake one, of course. And, uh, and as soon as I type A, it already has found it, okay? So I don't want to type anything more than I, I need to, especially if I don't touch type. And, uh, and, and that list will be populated with things related to the words that I type in that search bar. When I mouse over the list item, I see this little wrench icon at the right. I'll mouse over again. There it is. And, um, and if I press the wrench icon, uh, it, see it goes dark there when I put the mouse right over the wrench. I click it, and it gives me some options to do with the Apple ID item that was in that list there. I can autofill, copy username, copy password, etc. Um, but this video is about seeing the password in writing and copying it manually. And to do that, I need to go to Edit. There's the Edit option. Okay. And so uh, by clicking on Edit, it opens a new tab and shows me the. Um, the metadata that has to do, or the data that has to do with this entry. Uh, it's got the URL that this is related to, that's the website that's related to, my username, and of course what I'm interested in is the password field, field. Um, and there it is, but the password is not visible. Okay, so I need to press this little eye icon, um, and you see again it goes dark when I mouse over it, and when I click it, it shows me my password. Right, so there it is, capital Y, capital G, capital H, three, uh, hash, little k, eight, ampersand, and then and. And um, so I can copy it manually, either uh, either using the, the copy, uh, the, the edit, uh, sorry, edit menu and then copy, or uh, I can write it down, of course. I might also want to write my username down if I don't remember what that is. And one little detail that I want to point out is that I can manually add a note here. For example, if I had a, an old password, um, when, I, when I'm updating passwords on, on websites, usually I like to write my old password down here just in case something happens and, uh, and LastPass thinks I have a new password, but the website doesn't. And I don't want to uh, get stuck between, between passwords. So just a bit of paranoia on my part. I like to, uh, if I'm ever updating a password on a website, I like to write the old password down manually um, by opening this edit window. Anyway, so we'll press uh, cancel and that will just get rid of that without making any changes because all I wanted to do was copy down that password. Notice I have multiple extension icons up here and they're all kind of red. So uh, try not to get them confused. There's adblock plus and rescue time and LastPass. Uh, so if I, if I type this in and I just press the, the list item, Apple ID, um, and, and I don't press that little wrench, it'll take me to whatever, 
uh, website or URL that was uh, that was in the um, that we saw in the edit pay, uh, tab. And this one is apple.com. Now I made this entry manually, so I had to actually find the login page for Apple by myself. Um, it didn't take me there automatically this time. And notice it didn't autofill my uh, my stuff here, even though this is an apple.com website. And that's okay because at the right end of, of the, the place where I should put my username is the little asterisk. That's the LastPass symbol. So if I just click that, it will bring up uh, a LastPass menu. I had to click it twice there. I'm not sure, uh, not sure why, but um, anyway, so there's the LastPass menu related to this field that I want to fill in. And since this is apple.com, it's already brought up the apple.com item uh, in LastPass uh, because it thinks that I want to autofill with this and indeed I do so if I just click on it on the on the list item not on the wrench then it should autofill with my information okay and so there I've clicked on it and uh, and my username is filled in and so is my password of course, uh, it's just showing those black dots, which is normal. And if you want to see your password, you can do what I showed you earlier in the video as you go to the, uh, the edit mode. So anyway, I'll press sign in. And since this is a fake username and password, uh, Apple doesn't recognize it because I just invented it for the as a LastPass entry. But this is how I would, uh, one way that I could log into uh, to my Apple website.